So today I wanted to talk to you finally about the planner of all catch up all planners. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, um, if you are on Facebook or Instagram at all, I'm search planners at some point, then you have probably seen a Facebook ad for the company that I'm about to talk about. Um, today I am showing you a catch-all and a budget planner I purchased from Ivory Paper Co. Now I want to be upfront with you guys because most of you that click on these, click on my videos are not subscribers, which means if you clicked on this one it's because you want an authentic and real review of this planner. So I'm going to keep it as real as possible. However, this video is going to take a little bit different of a tone than I originally had planned. Um, uh, and I'll explain that in just a few moments. But uh, basically, I'm going to give you the pros and cons um, and then that I had in terms of ordering pl these planners. And then we'll flip you guys around and I'll give you a visual flip through some pages so you can see what the actual setup looks like. Um, so let's just get right into it. So let's talk really quickly a little bit about this company. So Ivory Co. was founded by a mom um, in late 2018. I hope I don't butcher your name, Alitza um, Stinson. She um, she named her company after her daughter, um, and so <laughs> a small company in Ohio. So let's just get right into it. Let's not beat around the bush um, and get into the pros and cons. So unfortunately, we're going to start with a con. Basically, they've been struggling for the past few months, um, but not str struggling in terms of not being able to keep up. So basically, the company blew up more than they were expecting. Um, there were some changing issues with staff changing and shipping and handling and things like that. Um, now originally my plan was to come into come on this video and show you receipts, right? Because there was a little back and forth in terms of trying to get in touch with customer service. That was a little bit of a headache. It did take quite a while to hear back from customer service. Um, I will say that the owner did, if you follow her on Instagram, she did consistently leave updates um, the issues with the updates, though, I think that most of the customers were feeling is that the updates were not exactly accurate because she would the updates would say, hey, if you ordered your planner on this date, you should expect to finally see it on this date, and so on and so forth. So we would like weekly get updates like that on her Instagram page. However, um, like I said, they just weren't accurate. I mean, according to their updates, I should have had my planner quite a while ago. I mean, to, to nip this in the bud, to make a long story short, I ordered my planners and stickers on January 4th, and I got them this past week, uh, which in case this video goes up later than I'm filming it, uh, it was like the first, second week of March. So, I mean, there's that. Now, the reason I decided to not sit here and show receipts and just have this whole video be about my gripes, about the fact that this it, the planner took too long, there's just no need for it, honestly. I was on her Instagram page. You know, she did show this screenshot here, which I don't know how much is going to come up here on the screen, but, you know, if you can see, it's just like a little blurb about basically, like, respecting her privacy and her respecting her family and things like that. And then I don't know if it shows up here on camera, but basically what followed were a bunch of really racist, derogatory, just awful DMs that she was receiving from customers. I don't know if it was multiple customers or the same customer. I... I I have no idea, but I can just tell you that the things that these people were saying and com like I, I don't understand how having a product be late to you somehow equates to you thinking that racism is okay. And I don't even understand if you are that hateful in your heart, then why are you even ordering from a black owned company if you feel that way? I'm really like taken back by that. Um, I just don't understand what makes someone think that that's like okay and then it just kind of made me kind of take a step back and reflect and be like you know what it's their planners at the end of the day it's not that serious there are a ton of other ways you could handle the situation I could have asked for a refund back um, I could have like canceled my order just or I mean it, it is what it is look it, it, the company basically obviously people are enjoying the product hence why they are having this issue um, at the end of the day but I, I didn't want to leave out the con because in case you guys do end up falling in love with this planner, um, I don't want to lie to you and tell you it did take a long time to get here. Um, the company does promise that they are working on it and that they have seen improvements. Again, I can't speak on those improvements in terms of shipping because, you know, I, I haven't experienced that yet. My, my experience with shipping was not so great. But, you know, um, it is what it is. I do have one other quick complaint, which is a really stupid complaint, I'm well aware, but I am a sucker for good packaging, and I have watched other reviews when I was thinking about ordering this um, 
planner and just seen other flip throughs and things like that. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I saw that, that, that a lot of people got the packaging that had some of the different um, designs that they use for their actual planners and we did not. We just got this plain box. That being said, it, I mean, if that's what it took for me to get my planner was for it to get put, my two planners were for it to get put in a plain box. That's really nothing to complain about. But again, if I'm being honest and authentic, your girl likes a cute box. I like cute packaging. What can I tell you? It's probably why I never have money saving. Okay, so I want to show you a quick front view and then I will flip you guys upside down, turn you around, and we'll look, we'll do like a quick flip through. I won't flip through the entire book because it'll be redundant after a while, but maybe we'll flip through like the first month or two so you can see um, how the, the, so you can see the setup of the actual planner. Um, they have a bunch of different designs that you can choose for. Mama went for the avocado because avocados are life. Um, and so you could also personalize this top part here. As you can see, it's also, um, you know, it's coil, uh, what do you call this? Coil, right? Coil. And this is the catch-all. So this is my all-in-one planner. So as you can see, something else I wanted to note really quick here on the front page is that you can see now I ordered this in January. I didn't get it until March, so they did change it. So this does run from March 2021 to August 2021, which is actually almost perfect for me because then come September, it's like the new school year. Uh, my little one might be starting preschool in September, so I'll start fresh with the whole new planner. And then for the budget planner, I just kind of picked like this kind of more plain brown design. I'll leave below linked the two. I'll link below the two planners that I use just in case you want to purchase the same ones. And then I thought it would be cute since this is our family budget planner. Um, to personalize it. So I just put Hennigan Family Budget in there. You have different options with your budget planner as well. I chose the Paycheck Edition Weekly. I prefer keeping track weekly versus uh, monthly, especially since we have different for, since my husband is the main source of income for our household, and then I have different streams of income sort of funneling in. So keeping track weekly just is the best option um, for us. Now, last thing I want to mention before I flip the camera around and we look in, look inside of these bad boys is that unfortunately it's another con <laughs> and um, the con that I want to mention really quickly is that I did order some stickers from them they had um, some cute iPhone icon sticker sheets Netflix binge icon stickers and grocery icon stickers that your girl did pu purchase and they are not here now I do see on top of the iPhone sticker sheet it says shipping separately I hope that means that all of the stickers are separate or shipping separately and that it's not like a, oh they forgot you know that I ordered the I, I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into the um, sticker situation okay well let's put this around and look at the dang planners already okay so here's the actual planner this is the all-in-one planner um, again, we got the avocado design. You can see here, I got a couple little like scuff marks, if you will, on here. They didn't come like this though. I've had this for a little bit, um, but just something to know if you're someone who, I was gonna say, if you're someone who quality matters. I mean, I guess quality matters to all of us. But anywho, um, yeah, it is what it is. It's been a long day. Mama hasn't had her coffee yet. Um, okay, and then you're gonna open up straight here, and you have your front page. And as I noted to you guys before. Um, this is going to go from March 2021 to August 21. And then moving right along, you have your um, address book. Now, um, you know, it would be good with the kiddos if you have like your doctor's info or like with my daughter, for example, um, she's in early intervention. So she gets like speech and um, physical therapy and all of that. So having their contact information would be helpful. And then this I really love, the password keeper. I'll probably keep that as is because, you know, I, I, I forget my passwords all the time. So maybe my, like, on-hand ones that I sometimes forget and need to get to really quickly, um, I can have here. Then they also have this reading wish list, which is really cool. For I actually, my plan was, if I'm being completely transparent, when I was going to use this as my all-in-one, like, my home um, my home planner, I was going to put this Netflix sticker <laughs> over this because you know you have like a running I always have like a running list of shows that I want to like binge watch and I just never get around to it or I forget forget to so that's what I was planning on making um this section here and then we have this is how every every month this is what you will have so you'll have your monthly and then you'll have this um like vertical layout for your week so it goes from Monday through Sunday 
have a little some boxes here for notes, goals, some habit tracking, gratitude, which I always like. Oh, can you see that? Gratitude, which I always like. And then your dailies, which I enjoy also. So you have like a running to-do list, schedule. You could always use this as, a, you know, you can always change this up with stickers if you're not someone who likes to have like your schedule like written out in front of you. Um, and then you'll see, you'll have that for the entire week. And then um, Saturday and Sunday are together. Um, you'll have like a separate schedule for Saturday and Sunday and then like one running to-do list, which I typically like for my home um, planners also because my weekends are kind of like lumped together, right? I don't use, typically unless I have something like a scheduled appointment or a, I don't know, a party when we were having those or things like that. Um, I don't like to have like specific things set. Like if let's say I wanted to, you know, clean the kitchen and clean the living room, I don't necessarily want to like, It'd say I must do it on Saturday, you know, and then you then you move on to the next week. So then we go back here to the weekly, the next week with your weekly boxes, and then your daily sheets again, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now this one I really enjoy. I'm going to list out for you the different because you do have different options when it comes to the budget planner. Um, I just I thought this was really cute, just a real basic planner. I didn't need anything fancy for the decor for a budget planner. Um, and I put, you know, and you can personalize it as I mentioned before also. And I, we did the paycheck edition weekly. So this first page here, we have an annual financial goals, which I really love because we, my husband and I were just actually talking about this before. Like we have a lot of financial goals in terms of money that we need to save for just whether it's a bill that has to be paid off in the house or for changes that we want to be do in the house. You know, we have some house projects and things like that. That Oh, my nails are bad. Sorry, kids. Uh, but, you know, so I really like that. And they'll be right there in the front page. You can always kind of look at it as a reminder to be like, okay, this, this is the reason we're doing the things we're doing. Um, my plan to earn more income. My plan to cut expenses. And then right here, you have an annual savings goal, which I really like that too. So this gives you a breakdown and you can put how much money you, you make a goal for for the month, like May, how much money do we want to save in May? And then did you actually meet your goal? Then we have subscription tracker, which uh, if you're not new here, I am obsessed with subscriptions. I love subscriptions. So this is really great because I lose track all the time of my subscriptions. Sometimes there's some that I want to put on hold and try out new ones. So having like a list in front of me will also help me to keep track of that. Um, then we've got some important. Now, what I also like about this one is it's actually undated, which is great because as you can see, I didn't get started yet. So here we start important dates. So it's got kind of like a monthly layout. You put the month. So you could put, you can use here like important like bills that are due on those specific dates. And then it gives you like a weekly plan, which I also love because think about like then it'll help me to break down my budget into like a weekly budget. You know, everything is always like monthly, I feel like. And we are just really bad. I'm not going to lie. Like we are the worst when it comes to money. My husband and I both are like bad when it comes to spending. There's like nobody being like, no, 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 you know, and that is one of the issues that we face. And so I think having a weekly budget will really help us to kind of tighten up quite a bit and maybe get better about our spending. And maybe in the beginning, it'll even help us to kind of see what we are frivolously spending our money on. And this for, like I showed you, you have the month and then you have this for week one, week two, week three, um, week four and they do week five because as we know, some months have then what transaction track tracker, which I also like, like my, I'll probably put like my automated, um, you know, things that get taken out of the account, um, things that get taken out of the account on here, things that get taken out of the account, like automatically. Then I really love this part, a monthly reflection. So you can look back at how much money did you make? How much money did you spend? How much money did you save? Your biggest wins from the month? Did you stay on budget? And how will we improve next month? And then I love this here because it has like a, a blank page, which I was thinking I might use these um, for whatever the help. We have a lot of like house... Um, why can't I think of the word that I want to say? Hello, we have a lot of... Um, renovations like, like small home renovations that we would love to do um, mostly like cosmetic but things that can be costly so 
this would be a great way, like if let's say I made the, I don't know, we need to like redo our bathroom. So let's make, say I made that one month. Um, I would use this page as kind of like my list of the things that I need to save, you know, like a brainstorming list, like what I need to um, spend the money specifically on, like what I need to buy for the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I could put that specific goal like here too to see like how much closer we are to actually meeting that goal and buying the things that we need for that. And then moving right along, then you go right back to now we have the next month. So then again, you have your monthly. Again, like I said, I'll show you guys again. Um, we'll do future videos where I show you like the specific setups and how I end up using them. But again, I think how I'm going to use this is to just put like, you know, bills due on the specific dates in the month and then track um, what actually comes out like the weekly, the actual um, weekly budget that we're working with like the weekly income and how much we're using a week because I uh, how much we're using a week and what we're using it on what we're spending on so there you go and that just continues the same thing um throughout okay guys sorry I look a hot mess today we just came back from uh we had our daughter's evaluation today because she's aging out of early intervention and we've had one every day this week at nine o'clock in the morning with her and they're like an hour long and uh, there's just a lot <laughs> anywho Here's my final take on the planners. I'm not going to keep harping on the company, like I said. Um, the negatives were like we said. It was a long wait. It took customer service quite a while to get back to me. My stickers are not here. Um, and then, of course, I showed you, like, I, I, I think, to be honest, the makeup of the, like, to have waited so long for these planners and then them have not really, like, the best quality, to be honest with you, uh, I'm a little frustrated with that. Um, and I, I probably wouldn't order again from them anytime soon, at least. Um, I also, on, on the other side of it, I, I am having a strong love for Happy Planner lately. Um, and I did place this order before I started realizing and playing around with Happy Planner how much I really like enjoyed it. Um, so if you want to see how we're going to um, Franken plan our home planner, be sure to like and subscribe because that is going to be coming up soon. Um, and like I said, the, the pluses, the positives, the takeaway from this is that I did really enjoy the setup um, of these planners. And that all-in-one planner is really great for, for someone who's looking for just kind of a home all-in-one um, planner. You could use that for a lot of things. So, I mean, the setup for that is really great. So I do, I, I, that's my takeaway from it. I do enjoy the setup. I am happy that they, at least since I got the planner so late, pushed the month because that would have really been a disaster if I didn't get my planner till March and then it started, you know, in January. So, um, and I do, oh, my other positive takeaway is this, but I do really like the budget planner. So if I were you, if I was going to get anything, if I was going to spend my money on any of them, I would maybe go for the, uh, budget planner. And again, I'll have the different list down for you below so you could see what different options you have. If weekly doesn't work for you, I believe they have a monthly, maybe even a bi-weekly. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have that in the uh, description for you guys below. Okay, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I will catch you on the next one, and happy planning!